Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I just got this thought just now, which makes me feel like I am supposed to deal with this subject. And the subject matter is volatile relationships, poor choices, the blame game. Well, if he hadn't come on to me, well, if she hadn't slipped me her phone number, well, it takes two to tango, and that is not in the Bible. But it's true anyhow. When you get in a relationship, and it is volatile, and one moment you're screwing each other up the wall, and you're having climax after climax, and the next minute you can't stand each other, and you're arguing and you're fuming and fussing and yelling and screaming. and Then the next thing you know, there's jealousy, there's condemnation, there's intolerance, impatience, drama, drama, drama. Mm -hmm. The next thing you know, I mean, it just... Yeah, it snowballs into a big fat mess. Now, what got you there was, ooh, child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good, baby. That got you there. That is the, the little seasoning that keeps you coming back for more. That makes it hard for you to let go. Because... It hurts so bad, but it feels so good. So you've got that that topsy turvy that uh, it, it <laughs> here today, gone tomorrow, in out, uh, uh, great, bad, love, hate, all of it's going on at the same time, and you're trying to process this thing when in actuality. If you were to really be honest with yourself, you're only hanging on to it because either your pride doesn't want to say, I failed another relationship, or you're too afraid to be by yourself, or the sex is too good, even though the person is a pain on every one of your last nerves. You have to decide, is this worth it, or should I look for another? Now, when you do that, don't blame them. Please don't do that. Because when you see two people tangoing, one person does not tango alone. Tango is a dual, yeah, it's a dual teamwork effort. Salsa and all of that, all those moves, doing the walls. You have to have someone to hold on to. That's not something you do alone. Like the twist or the jerk or the, the, or the pop lock. It's not something you do alone. Some ballet, you can do that alone. Do a whole solo. Great. Interpretive dance. Modern dance. Mime. But you cannot waltz. You cannot tango. There are dances you cannot do alone. It totally... Uh, kills the effort of the dance. I mean, the dance is non-existent without two. Your relationship is non-existent without two. Be they volatile, angry, frustrating, mm -hmm. yeah, violent, whatever the case may be. Drama, drama, drama. Both of you have contributed to the mix. Now, here's something to think about. If you break up with that person and that person hooks up with someone else, 
they may get along great and you wonder well how come they couldn't treat me like that what's up what do i look like chopped liver well you mix you gotta think in terms of food you mix water and oil shake it up real good you got a great salad dressing but put all the seasoning in there and vinegar and oil whatever you want to call it vinegar same consistency as water you shake it up with the oil and all the all the um, the ingredients the spices and everything and you have a delicious italian dressing you set the thing on now that's y'all making love yeah buddy that's y'all going to a party mm -hmm. but then you sat down and now the two of you settle and what happens the twain ain't meeting no more you are both individuals that cannot mesh in the natural you have to force it you have to have a constant shaking up you shake up you break up your makeup you shake up you break up your makeup that's the nature of a salad dressing that's your relationship but then you look when you break up and you look at them with someone else and you're wondering wow they get along so great look how they treat each other they're so so much more considerate i don't hear them arguing well what happened to me well here it is you got a butter and olive oil relationship there you mix butter you mix olive oil in a frying pan you saute your food delicious but here's the trip. When everything settles, what do, you, what do you have left? Oil. You don't have a separation. They have become one. A total, smooth, consistent cooperation. Some people you do not need to be with. I don't care how big the boobs are or how well hung he is. You do not need to be together. If every other minute you're loving, the other minute you're hating, then you're loving, then you're hating, break up to make up. And you break up to make up. Break up and call it a friggin' day. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let it go. I'm serious. That's where some of you have gone wrong. You have forced a relationship that should never have been in the first place because your pride would not admit this was a wrong choice. On both your parts. Didn't mean they were wrong. It just meant you are wrong for each other. Not the right mix. All right, that's for you to think about, pray about, and just because both of y'all are saved or born again Christians does not make you equally yoked. You could have an idiot that is totally unreasonable and you could have a person who has total common sense and they just, they, they can't beat the, 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 the uh, picture into the other person's mind. And it's, it, it's a constant upheaval. And then the person who doesn't get it is insecure about the person who has it. And they're saying, well, you think you're better than I am. And it's a whole nother ball game of problems. So you have to see what you're looking at, honestly. It doesn't have to be a fault on either side. You're just unequally yoked. Psychologically, intellectually, Socially, mm, never thought about that. Financially, it can be a whole lot of things. Culturally, unequally yoked is unequally yoked, and it doesn't have to relate to religion. You definitely don't want to be unequally yoked when it comes to your faith. But you better be careful about being unequally yoked when it comes to other things in life. One likes to party. The other one is a homebody. 
Well, how y'all going to get together? There's always going to be a problem. You never want to go with me anywhere. You always want to hit the streets. I mean, back and forth. No. Don't be so desperate. Wait for the right mix. I'm going to stop because I can keep going on that one. Wait for the right mix and pray for God's direction and approval. God bless you.